Here we go. We live. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, y'all. Come on, Alabama done one. Son, <laughs> let's do it. It's time for Bible class, man. Oh man, I got Elder Randolph on. I got Minister Reggie on. The Saints of the Living God. Let me see if they're checking on, man. I'm so excited. Let me see. Let me see. If they check it on, I'm just gonna explode. I'm explode. How you doing, Elder Randolph? What's going on, sir? I'm doing, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How are you all doing? Doing fantastic, sir. Doing fantastic. Good. The Lord is good. Good. Oh, they love, we already got one share. Can you like and share, like and share? We got one share, we need two shares. We got three comments. Can we get up to 10 comments? I need 10 comments. That means you come on, you say, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Tobias Brookins and I'm excited about the Bible study tonight. Come on, talk it in, talk it in, talk it in, talk it in, man. <laughs> Let us we know got, you're here. We got one share, man. Come on, come on y'all. We got to get... Last night, they killed y'all, man. They had like up to 20 shares and we only got, let me see what's going on here. <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Auntie D is on. Come on, it's time for that good old word. That's right, Sister Janice Butler is on. The Lord has been blessing her and her body. Sister Patricia is on, she's ready. Prayer warrior herself, evidence in prayer. Michelle is on. Ron Randolph is on, War, Lakeisha is on, Ruben is on, but did y'all like and share? Come on, y'all. I need y'all to like and share, man. Just go and click that, just click that share. Find your worst enemy on Facebook and send it to him. <laughs> Come on with that. <laughs> they worst enemy. Find somebody who you love and send it to them. Find somebody who you don't know. Send it to them. Do like they've been doing us with all these crazy groups getting on. Go <laughs> ahead, find the Satanist group, share it. <laughs> like, and share, like and share with Satan. <laughs> like and share. Terry Brown is on, is on, and crack a lacking. I'm pumped up. Let's go. Come on with it. We got 15 people watching. If we can get the 30 people watching, I need some prayer warriors to start praying right now. We need 30 people on that eyeball right now. Right now, let me check out. Let me see. We got seven shares. Seven is the number of perfection. The Lord is about to send somebody something perfect. I'm telling you, he's going to send something perfect in your life. We got seven shares, but we got to get up to new beginnings. Come on, to eight, to nine, the number of judgment. Come on, 10. The number of fin finality, come on, 11, come on. Let's keep on working it. Let's keep on working it. We almost there. Let me see if we got it, if we got it. Come on, I'm going to give y'all one more chance. One more again, as my grandma used to say, one more again. Here we go. Let's see, let's see. Oh, we still at seven. How could that be? Oh, but we up to 20. We up to 20. We up to 20. So here we go. Tonight's Bible study, if you missed last night, you missed some deep word last night. Am I right, Elder Randolph? Yes, sir. They they missed they missed some word last night. Yes, did. Uh, and listen, when you when you come on here, we not having cocoa puffs. You know what I'm saying? When, when you when you come to the Bethesda Bible study, you're not gonna get cocoa puffs. You know. You're not gonna get lucky charms. You you you're not gonna get what's the other one? You're not gonna get um, um, Captain Crunch. You know you're not gonna get Berry Crunch. You you, <laughs> you, 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 Barry. you you getting you getting some 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 deep deep. You getting some good old grits with butter all up in them. <laughs> you 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 getting you getting all of the good part. I know we on a damn Daniel fast, so I don't want you guys. I don't want you guys starting to lust after nothing that ain't on Daniel fast. We on the Daniel fast right now, but I just thank God for y'all. Oh man, Sister Virginia Harper, Sister Gail is on, Sister Vivian is on, Sister v Vivian, what's going on, lady? Let's go, come on, Vivian, let's go. David Lou Wright is on, Jackie is on, come on, songstress. Oh, we oh we got a crowd now. Let's do this. 
they excited. You know why? Because we in John 11. Amen. John 11. So, so uh, Minister Reggie, open us up in prayer. And when you pray, can you jot this down? Get a pen real quick because we want to call their name out. If you could just be so kind as to call out the Roseman family. We want to call out the Roseman family. Oh, David Lou, right now, these ain't no Frosty Flakes. These ain't no Frosty Flakes. And you know that's my, you know that's my get up. No, no, no. This is that good stuff. This is this is them ham hogs, man. This is that good stuff. This, 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 this is the stuff to have you licking. That, that's that stuff. So can you write down Roseman? Okay. Ayala. Ayala, okay. Ewing. Ewing, okay. Irwin. Irwin. Any other names that we need to call out real quick when we go into prayer? Because this is Wednesday night prayer. We calling out some names for prayer. Anyone else? I'm looking on the feed to see if there's any other names. Am I missing them, Elder uh, Randolph? Who, who did we say in our elders meeting um, that was that we wanted to pray for and to make sure that they was all right? Um, I believe. That it? Yeah, I think I, that was it. Okay. That, okay. That was it. Yes. Well, to God be the glory. We want to. We want to call those names out. Our 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 beloved. Our beloved uh, Arch, Mother Arch, Roseman. Archkar, Mother Archkar. Mother Archkar. Oh, good. Mother Archkar. Want to call her name out? Okay. Remember Deacon Dillon. Deacon Dillon, Deacon Dillon, Deacon Dillon. How how about our nation? How about our nation? Uh, yes. Uh, Dr. Gross, um, her uh, her sister. -in -law. Oh my, Dr. Gross. Okay. So so let's let's take about let's just take a you know just a modest amount of let's take you know between now and about five minutes let's just we're just gonna pray. I need everybody on this feed. I need you praying and I need you watching and praying. All right. So, because I believe that since we are in this cyber kind of space, that when you're text typing things, that the Lord is hearing what you're typing too. Amen. So I need you to agree. The key to the Lord moving is us agreeing, all Amen. right? So you, you can't be off kilter. So as Minister Reggie is praying, you're, I agree. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that he's saying, we're going to agree and the Lord is going to release on our life. Can you, you know what? I've been praying about millionaires. Can you also mm -hmm. put that in there? Lord, supernaturally, we are, I am praying that he gives people finances who have been faithful so that they can distribute it into the community where it needs to go. Mil, mil, literally millionaires, millionaires that they have inheritance that they didn't even think of that, that they had. So let's go ahead. We're going to enter into prayer. Minister Reggie, it's all yours. Father, we thank you on tonight, God. We just thank you for being God all by yourself, oh God. Yes, God. God, we thank you for this fast that you have called us to, oh God, to come together, oh God, to break the bounds of wickedness, oh God, to unloose heavy burdens, oh God, to let the oppressed go free, God. We say thank you on tonight, oh God. Thank you that you're giving us discipline. Thank you, God, that you're resetting us, oh God and getting our minds right and getting our hearts right and getting us together for the new year. God, we thank you on tonight. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for every promise that you have declared unto this body, oh God. We thank you for this house, oh God. God, we thank you even for this platform, God, this virtual time of us getting together, oh God, to call upon your name. God, we don't take it lightly. We don't take it for granted, oh God, but yet, God, you have brought us into this place, oh God, and you let us be in our right minds, oh God, in our right spirits, oh God, and in good health on tonight, God, and for that, we say thank you, oh God. We glorify your name, God. We lift you on high, God, for you are almighty, oh God, and you're everlasting from everlasting, oh God. So we lift you up, oh God, and God, we ask that even as we come together in this setting on tonight, God, that you would sanctify us, oh God. Sanctify our minds, oh God. Sanctify our hearts, oh God. God, continue to purge us, oh God, of all those things that are not like you, oh God. God, our goal, God, is to be on one accord with you, oh God. God, make us like you on tonight, oh God. God, we've come to be your 
disciples, oh God. God, so we yeah. ask that in the name of Jesus, oh God, God, that you would strengthen us, oh God. God, reveal unto us, oh God, those crooked places, oh God, that you need to make straight, oh God. God, make us perfect in you, oh God. God, make us holy even as you are holy on tonight, oh God. Oh, God, God, touch our minds, oh God. Touch, touch our hearts, God. touch our lips, touch oh God. God. Touch, God, touch our eyes, oh God, that we touch might God. see what you see, God. Touch our ears, oh God, that we might hear what mm. you hear, oh God. Touch oh, our feet, God, that we might walk where you say walk, oh God. Make us sensitive to your spirit on tonight, oh God. God, for we believe that you are well able, oh God, that while we're in the midst of this fast, oh God, do the miraculous, oh God. Do that oh, which only it. you can do in our lives, oh God. Change us, oh God. Change us, oh God. Change us even in an instant right now, oh God. God, that we might come out renewed, oh God. Refreshed, oh God. Changed, oh God, that our attitudes might be new, oh God. God, that our talk might be new, oh God, that our walk might be new, God, that our praise might be new, God, that our tongues uh, no might be new, oh God. God, that the anointing that is upon our life Life, oh God, will be evident, oh God, even unto the sinner, man, God, that when we walk down the street, oh God, make our shadows, God, even as you did for Peter, God, make our shadows heal the sick, oh God, make our shadows cause folks to want to change, God, make our shadows, oh God, cause folks to want to be delivered, oh God, silver and gold we might not have have, oh God, but such as we have, oh God, let us give it unto the people, oh God, that they might be strengthened, oh God, that they might be delivered, God, that there might be hope restored in the name of mm, Jesus, oh glory. God, 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 let us be your, your disciples, oh God, let us be your light, God, God, even in the midst of this chaos, oh God, we Ooh. know that you are still God over all, oh yes, God, Jesus. God for this nation, oh God, God, call God, you are, you are still God, oh God, so God, we ask that you move in the name of Jesus. Jesus, oh God, mm -hmm. straighten it out, oh God. Touch right now, oh God. Let it still work to the favor of your people, oh God. Yeah, Called by so your up. name, God. Chosen by your hand, oh God. Everything that goes on, God. Let it work to the favor of your people, oh God. God, yeah, we have some Jesus. that are sick among us, oh God. Some that are need among us, oh in need among us, God. The Roseman family, God. For God, yeah. touch right now, oh God. Meets yes, the God. need, heal the body. Oh God, deliver, oh God, change, oh God, right now in the name of Jesus, God, even in this time of prayer, oh God, let the word go forth, oh God, that a testimony, God, that they will say even in this same hour, God, that as they called out my name before the Lord, you mm. move, oh God, the Ayala family, oh God, will you Ooh, touch sir. right now, oh God, will oh, you move for us, oh God, God, you said with two or three, oh God, mm, come to glory. your name, oh God, touch it and agree it, oh anything, oh God, that you would answer it, God. We're touching and agreeing right now, God. We're touching and agreeing in Thank the spirit you. of God. Oh, God, for the Ewan family right now, oh God. Oh, God, for the Irwin family right now, oh God. Oh, for the Oshkar family right now, oh God. Oh, for Deacon Dylan right now, oh God. Oh, you're able to do it right now, oh God. Move in the name of Jesus, God. Supernaturally begin to touch, oh God. Supernaturally Supernaturally begin to heal, oh God. Supernaturally begin to restore right now, God. Oh, restore health right now, oh God. Restore families right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh, restore as only you can, oh God. Oh, for we know that you are the God of restoration, oh God. You're the God of healing right now, God. You're the God of deliverance right now, oh God. So God, we ask that you would touch in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh, God. God, the gross God, Dr. Gross right now, God. Oh, touch in the name of Jesus, oh God. I move right now, oh God, as only you're able to, God. Ah, do it, God. Do it. Testimony after testimony after testimony, oh God. Even those that are on the line, God, those that are typing in the line, oh God, right now. I'm asking you to answer their prayer right now, God. Meet their needs right now in the name of Jesus, God. As they agree for others, oh God. Take care of their needs, oh God. Go into their hearts right now, oh God. Those secret things, oh God. Those unspoken things, oh God. Those things that only you know about, oh God. Ah, answer them right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. All oh, the thing that they cried last night about, oh God. Wipe every tear away right now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, you're that kind of God and you're well able to do it, oh God. Oh God, you said that you give the power, oh God. 
to get wealth, oh God. And you said not just to get wealth, but the purpose is so that your covenant, God, might be established, oh God. God, God in this season, oh God, you've given a vision to our pastor right now, oh God. And we act in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would begin to send funders of the gospel, oh God. Let it be in this house right now in the name of Jesus. Let finances come, oh God. Millionaire status in the name of Jesus, oh God. Open up the door, God. Give ideas, oh God. Give wisdom. Give dreams, oh God. Give direction right now, God. Give favor, oh God. God, connect the people with the people that need to be connected with, oh God. All that you might might bless your people, oh God. Touch the finances, oh God, of your people, oh God. Those that have been faithful to sow, oh God, even in a time of famine, oh God, let the blessings begin to just overflow and overtake them in their lives right now, oh God. God, not that we might just have money, oh God, oh, but that we might sow, oh God, into your kingdom, oh God, that your covenant might be established, oh God, that your vision might be transformed, God that the things that you've given might become a reality, oh God. God, let it be so in the name of Jesus, God. For it's in times of famine that you've blessed your people, oh God. So do it now in the name of Jesus, oh God. I, God, I declare it right now, oh God, that your blessing, oh God. We're looking for those ideas, oh God. We're looking for those dreams, oh God. We're looking for those night visions, oh God. We're looking for that wisdom, oh God. I cause our finances to multiply right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that by the time we come off this fast, oh God, oh, let it be done in the name of Jesus, oh God. And then tonight, God, as we dive into your word, oh God, let revelation knowledge come, oh God. Let hope be restored, oh God. Let joy be filled right now, oh God. God, let peace be granted, oh God. Let them somebody know, oh God, that you're working it out for their good right now, oh God, that it's not over, God, until you say it's over, oh God. Oh God, that it, you got the last word, oh God. You got the last say, oh God. You're the God of everything, oh God. Oh God, it all belongs to you, oh God. And we believe you, oh God. We trust you right now. Now, yes, God, we Lord. thank you in advance right now, God. We thank you in advance for blessing your Jesus. people, God. We thank, thank you in advance Jesus. for answering Glory prayer God. right now, God. Glory we God. glorify you right thank now, you, God. Jesus. Hallelujah! You, Hallelujah! Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. And in Jesus' name, God, I thank you, oh God. And we declare your word, oh God. And all your promises, oh God, are yes, God, and amen, oh God. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on, saints of the living thank God. You, Come Lord. on, give him the glory. Oh, give hallelujah. him the glory. Seal that up oh, with hallelujah. a praise. Come on. Thank you, Seal Jesus. Seal that up with a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on. Thank let, you, let, Jesus. Let, let the Lord know oh, that you believe glory, God. Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We believe your word, hallelujah. oh God. Oh, we believe you, God. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He's a great I am. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Ah, glory yeah. be to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you so much, Hallelujah. Minister Reggie, for leading us out in prayer. Oh, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to fix your camera, man. You oh, man. Camera <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. I needed that. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 ah, glory. glory. You, so we are in John chapter 10. And Thank yesterday, you. we dived into the complexities of the power of the essential church, mm -hmm. Jesus being representative of the essential church. Mm -hmm. And we examined the request that was made by Mary and Martha. They sent for him. We pointed out that John took time to weave the relationship component together, that it was by their relationship to him and their perceived love that he had for Lazarus 
that they assumed that he would act in a manner that they were requesting. Mm -hmm. And Elder Randolph so eloquently pointed out to us that sometimes we're asking God things that might not be a part of his will. And we put a statement in the screen yesterday, it's not about how I feel, but it's about his will. Mm -hmm. Which brings us to the lesson today. And we're in John and chapter 11, and we're in verse 21 where the Bible says, Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. And Elder Randolph, I think you pointed out that was a part of a request that we often make where we want him to solve our dilemma and not realizing that until in the dilemma, there's a process that he's processing within us, mm -hmm. but also as he has stated before, that it was for the glory of God. Mm -hmm. yes. And then in verse 22, it says, but I know that even now whatsoever thou will ask of God, God will give it to thee. Look at her faith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we connected that last night to the Hebrew boys that we know our God is able. Come on, type that in the screen. Mm -hmm. I know my God is able. Can you type that in real quick? I know my God is able. And sometimes we're able to keep that confession of faith while it's starting to get warm. And then while it's starting to get hot. And then when we start feeling the hair singe on our arm, we're still able to keep that confession of faith. I know my God is able. Mm -hmm. But when we start getting burnt up, sometimes we lose the victory. But the Hebrew boys and what she's saying is, but even now, okay. I know you are still yet able. Amen. Hallelujah. Elder Randolph, talk to me real quick about the power of that confession and how it's connected to now that we're in a pandemic. Talk to me, man. That confession is so it is so telling. It, 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 it tells on you. It's saying that no matter how bad things get, and even though things may be horrible right now, I'm still holding on to you, Lord. Mm. I refuse to let you go. Mm. <laughs> I don't mm, care how mm, bad mm. things get. They're horrible right now, and they can even get worse. But Lord, through tears, through me being on my face crying, I refuse to let you go. I know mm. you, you can still do something about this situation. My Lord. See, see, because there is a lack of biblical teaching of faith, because we've been through the name it and claim it phase, mm -hmm. most people think faith is wishful thinking. Right. Mm -hmm. Faith is not wishful thinking. Faith is not about you dreaming up, conjuring up something and saying, I would like that. I have faith to get it. That's not what faith is. Right. Mm -hmm. Faith cometh by hearing. Come on, okay. Bible students, and track with me. And hearing by the word of God, which means I can't hear in the spirit without a word. Right. Mm. So at the beginning of my faith, there has to be a word attached to it. The Lord does not endorse your wishes. He does not endorse my feelings. He only endorses his word. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When the Lord sends a word, he opens up my spiritual healing. At the moment spiritual heal hearing takes place, faith now is conceived. That faith is tangible. It is the currency of the kingdom. It allows for me to make a transaction in the spirit realm. I take the currency called faith, and I'm now able to make that confession of whatever that word was attached to. I wonder are the people hearing me. Sometimes my faith brings me God. Hmm. Now, why am I saying sometimes? You say, Pastor, all the time it brings me God. But most people are not looking for God oftentimes by their faith. They're looking for stuff. They're looking for things. But it is possible for you not to get 
the thing and to get God. Oh my. <laughs> Come on, I, you know, I'm sorry. The Holy Spirit is working something. That prayer did something to us. I need you to turn over real quick to Hebrews 11. You said, Pastor, I, 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 I don't know about that. I, 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 don't, I don't know about that. Oh, yes, Sister Gail, faith is tangible. Yes, sir. Some people think faith is not tangible. You can touch faith. Yes, sir. Because in the spirit, it is just as real as the desk that I'm sitting at. It is just as real as the shoes that are on my feet. Hebrews 11, I want you to see something very powerful. When you chronicle this, he points out the faith of Abel in verse 4. He points out the faith of Enoch in verse 5. He points out the faith of Noah in verse 7. He points out the faith of Abraham in verse 8. Am I tracking right, elders? Yes, he talks yes, about the heirs, Isaac and Jacob, but then he points out the faith of Sarah in verse 11 and, mm -hmm. and talks about the son that came from her. But in verse 13, oh, learn. Man. Woo. Man. learn verse 13. <laughs> These all died in faith, faith. not Y'all didn't want to hear that tonight. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. having received the promises, but having, oh my goodness, <laughs> but having seen them afar off, somebody needs to see today, this is 2021, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them, they embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on this earth. Turn back to John now. <laughs> I had to memorialize there the power of what Martha is saying. Mm -hmm. She's saying, even now, I know that you're able. He's been dead for four days, but I believe you. Now that you're here, I know this thing can turn. But watch where her faith has limits. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Because here comes the limit. Verse 23, Jesus said unto her, thy brother shall rise again. That threw her faith for a loop. Because look what she says. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection and the last day. She was a good student, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. She was a good Bible student. She said, Lord, I'm not even tripping. I know he's going to rise in the last day. The mm -hmm. Lord is saying, uh-uh, I can do you one better. <laughs> Jesus says in verse 25, said unto her, I am, I am the resurrection. Did y'all catch that? Yeah. And, 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 and Ron, can you grab that word resurrection for me in the Greek? Mm -hmm. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whatsoever liveth and believeth in me, excuse me, whosoever believeth, uh, liveth and believeth in me shall never die, believest thou this. She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. Now, as Ron is grabbing the Greek word for resurrection there, I want you to note, and, and Minister Reggie, I want you to, to kind of work with this a little bit. Anastasis. He said, they said, and the life, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, Yet shall he live. So since I'm here, you need to know that the resurrection is not a process that's outside of me. Resurrection is what I am. Yes. I am the resurrection. Anytime I'm here, stuff gets up. Mm. Anytime I come around, life takes place. Some of you need to go touch your children. Some of you need to go walk around your house right now while you're holding the phone and just begin to wipe the doorpost right now. I double dare you to do a confession of faith and say, there's resurrection in my house. There's resurrection on my spouse. There's resurrection on my children. Come on, Elder Randolph, what is this talking about? First, it has resurrection of the body from death or return Ooh. to life. Mm. And so, also so, 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 wait, wait, wait. So tangible things that we can see in the natural can come to life. Keep going. Also, <clears throat> excuse me, standing on the feet again or rising as opposed to falling. Ooh, oh my mm. goodness. Somebody ought to receive that. 
Minister Reggie is standing <laughs> he, on the feet again. You know, Pastor, a, to fall in. talk to me, Reggie. Come on. You know, and as you were reading that, you know, the thing that popped into my spirit is, is that whenever we bring Jesus into a situation, he can change it mm -hmm. around and cause it to be resurrected. So this is why we need to bring them into our homes. And, and, and somebody say, how do I bring them into my home? Just what we just did. We just prayed. We brought Jesus mm -hmm. into this space when we called yeah. upon his name. Because we were praising him, because we were worshiping him, he was obligated to show up. Mm -hmm. Because he says, he says that when the praises go up, my blessings will come down. When we call on him, he shows up. And so if there are situations in our life that we, we haven't invited him into to resurrect. So when we call on him and we invite him in and he shows up, then he can begin to resurrect those things and begin to change those things around. God is a gentleman. He's the perfect gentleman. He never forces himself on anybody or anything or any situation. But when we invite him in to the situation, then we, 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 we have the ability to allow him to resurrect it. Mary, he, he, he could have just went and showed himself up. They had to call him to come. They called him to come to, to, to where Lazarus was. Mm, yeah. They had to call him. I mean, God, he, he, the thing about God is so much, so many times he's waiting on us to tell him. I mean, you think about Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus was blind. He called on Jesus. He called him and called him and called him. And he finally got, got Jesus to stand still. And Jesus still asked him, what do you want? God wants to know, what do you want? You have to invite him in in order for him to resurrect and change those situations around. Yes. I'm loving that. Elder Randolph, what you thinking? Reggie, you got to fix your camera again, man. You preach too hard. You preach too hard. <laughs> you ain't no joke, man. You, you, you start going. That, that camera can't handle that. I know yeah. it's in there, man. It must be motion activated. No, absolutely, man. But, yeah. but Elder Randolph, Elder Randolph, what Reggie's saying is saying is so powerful about bringing God into it, how they brought him into it. Yeah. And sometimes I don't bring him into it. Right. I bring my intellect into it. Mm -hmm. I bring my experience into it. I bring what I think that I know into it. I bring my own wisdom into it. I bring Google into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. And, what, and, and very, very simply, Remember what the Lord said in, Reve in Revelation? He said, I stand at the door and knock. Ooh, come on and break that. Any Bring man that invite me in, I will come in and sup with him. And, and I'll, I've always said this. You always see that on flyers, you know, re reaching out to the unsaved. But in mm. that case, the Lord is talking to those who know him. Yes, sir. He's not talking to the unsaved, even though he could be. I mean, you could use that, but he's actually talking to the people of God, I stand at the door and knock. Mm -hmm. If anyone invite me in, Reg, gentlemen, right? Invite me in, I will come yep. in and sup with him. Exactly. He's right there. And Red, like, like uh, Red said, <laughs> we don't always invite him in to our situations. So you mean to tell me after I got what I thought I needed, I went in my house and shut the door? Yeah, very. Oh, this wow. I did. This, this, is, this, is, this is heavy. After I got what I needed, lock Put the lock after on. my finances came together, after I got the house, after I, you know, the, 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 the marriage is together and the kids get, so after everything got together, I went in my house, said, thank you so much, Jesus, oh. and I shut the door. And then, then wait, yeah. to, to wait, wait a minute, though, now. Yeah. You, you, you gotta, can I, can I take it a step further, Elder Randall? Go ahead, go ahead. Because he's at a door knocking when he has the keys to death, hell, and the grave. <laughs> so, it, so, it, so it ain't like he ain't got the key. Right. He could come in. He can come in anytime he want to. And yeah, but he want to be an invited guest. Yeah. And what, what's so oh, come on, invited guest. And what, what's so cold about it, too, he doesn't just want to come in. He wants to sit and dine with you. Oh. He wants to. He wants to spend time. He wants to take up residence there. He wants to. He he wants to just hang out. He don't want to uh -huh. eat and run. No, no. He he not taking he care. He want to just do a drive by and drop no. off. No, that's food. No, no, no. <laughs> he wants to. He wants to take a seat and sit down. Mm. <laughs> you know what? 
I, I just sensed this. I just typed it in the screen. Everyone type it in the screen. Lord, I invite you in. Type that in the screen right now. Lord, we invite you in to the spaces that we've shut off from you. Forgive us, God. Yes. Every yes. space that we've shut off to you, spaces in our heart because of previous relationships, spaces of trauma that we don't want to resurface, spaces, yes. Lord God, where there are needs of deliverance, Forgive us for not letting you in. We let you, Lord, come in now to those yes. spaces. Yes. Come into our inadequacy. Come yes. into our deficits, dear Lord God. Come into those spaces, dear Lord God. We want to celebrate with you with the things that you have even given us. We bring you into our health, dear Lord God, even yes. as we're on the Daniel fast, even as there's physical regimens that are out there. But we need to bring you in. We bring you in, dear Lord God, to our diet. We bring you in, dear Lord God, to our eating habits. We bring you in, dear Lord God, to the things we do on a day-to-day -day basis. We bring you in. We bring you into our finances. We bring you into the ministry. Yes. How are we doing ministry without you, God? We, oh. bring, we're, we're bringing you in. This is your house. Oh. We say, this is your house. This temple, it's yours in Jesus' name. Now, now, let's, now let's check this out, though, guys, because the, I want the people to learn that John is writing this succinctly just as it was happening, but he's using some creativity to memorialize the important pieces of that day. He memorializes the key characters. You had Mary, Martha, Lazarus. You had the disciples and Christ. Then you had the messenger and the people all around. Those are the key elements of it. He memorializes this discourse between Martha but look at now how it's about to shift to Mary. Verse 28. <laughs> and when she said, had said so, she went her way and called Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, the master is come and calleth for thee. <laughs> they originally called for him. Now the master is calling for her. Mm -hmm. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly. And came unto him. Now that's a word right there. Mm -hmm. we, we can preach that right there. Soon as I, I want somebody don't miss this. As soon as she heard that, what did she do? She arose quickly and came unto him. One of the things that I have missed the mark in is not responding to the voice of God quickly. Mm -hmm. You get you a little degree, Reggie. And you start feeling special. You know, I'm, I'm opening up my, my, my life coaching for people that want to be coached. And, and hopefully, Reggie, you know, you and Red, you guys can help with it. We need to coach people. You know what I'm saying? Even as we have mentors, we need to coach people. But so I went and got my certificate. I went through the training because although I have pastoral experience, I still felt like I needed to learn. I want to make sure I'm giving the people the best, right? So I went and got me a little certificate. Now, I could write the master life coach, but we love titles and stuff like that. And sometimes those titles keep us from responding immediately when the Lord is calling. Because sometimes he will ask us to do something that's against the very teaching or the very experience that we've had. She has enough relationship with Jesus to know that if the master is calling, I got to get up and go. I know I'm sad. I know I'm not feeling well, but Jesus is calling and I have to go. But watch, watch now her social and emotional makeup that John captures here. John captures something here. She says now in verse 30, now Jesus was not yet come into the town, but was in a place where Mary, uh, Martha met him. The Jews then, which were in her, uh, with her in the house, and comforted her, when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, they followed her. Did y'all catch that? Mm -hmm. Did y'all catch that? See, she was told in secret. Look at the influence of Mary, though. She had people around her because she heard the word and is responding. Now what happens? She ends up with a caravan. I'm hoping somebody is receiving this about this essential church. Then the Bible goes on to say, she goeth unto the grave to weep there. 
They followed her, saying, she going to the grave, sorry about that, to weep there. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was, notice she came where Jesus was. Watch what she does. She saw him learn how to approach God. She fell down to his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. Notice that Martha and Mary have the same response when it comes to Jesus, all right? Let's dissect for a second what Jesus' response was to her. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. <laughs> Wait a minute. When Martha came to him, he was in trouble. When he looks at now what Mary is saying and everyone else around her and they're crying and, they're, and, and what they used to do is they would carry on. Maybe that's where we get that from. They would really carry on. All right. I don't mean no harm to nobody because sometimes you're grieving and you don't know what to do. You know, and so I, we used to call it in the country carrying on. And I remember when my grandmother passed away and a few other relatives came in and they wanted to carry on. I told them, I, I ain't going to be no carrying on. She wasn't a carrying on person. She's not gonna carry on, not gonna jump in the casket, ain't gonna be doing all of that. Should have gave her the roses while she was there. But anyway, so the people are carrying on. He groans in his spirit. What might he have seen in them that caused him to groan? That's my question to Facebook. Start typing in your answers. What might he have seen in their response that caused him to groan? Oh my, oh my. Wow. So, so as they're typing in their answers here, elders, what we have to continue to help the people understand is Jesus already has what the answer is going to be. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes he's watching my response to things. Mm -hmm. Now, now for those of you who have never heard this phrase before, but when I was growing up, grandma used to say something like this. Fix your face. <laughs> and y'all, y'all heard that before? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, so uh, because she wasn't just looking at how I felt about it, she was looking at how I was processing it right. and what I was projecting. Mm -hmm. In other words, I know you don't like what I just said, but you're not gonna sit up here and frown and pout. Right. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna sit up here and carry on. You're not gonna. No, no. no fix your face. Oftentimes the Lord is looking at our response to the situations. And sometimes that is the test. The test is not the situation always. Sometimes the test is how I responded and heaven opens up when I respond the right way. That's why minister Reggie was talking to you all about letting him in and talking about, we praised him. We pray. Somebody going to get the victory tomorrow because something's going to happen and you're going to open up your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you anyway. God is saying, that's what all I was looking for. I was just looking for my child to have the right response, to not grieve the spirit. Now I'm going to show you what I'm about to do. A miracle is going to take place on your life. Elders, talk to me. What are, you, what are you feeling as I'm processing this out to the people? You know, um, Pastor, as, as you see that, you know, he felt their spirit. And I, and I think about the scripture that, that talks about that we serve a high priest uh, who feels our infirmities and feels the things that we feel. My, my, Everything my. that we go through, hmm. Jesus went through and felt, but yet sin not. Mm -hmm. and, and so when we go to him and we pray and we actually let our, I mean, these people, Mary and Martha, they let their feelings be known to him. They said, Lord, had you been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Mm. I mean, that was them letting their feelings be known unto the Lord. So it's okay when we go to the Lord to go to him naked and just bear it all. Let him know what we're feeling because he already knows and he's already gone through it. And this will allow him to then step in and do what he do. Mm -hmm. He has a heart for his people. Come on when he said, when he, when, when he says, I'll give you pastors and shepherds after my own heart, 
And as a pastor and as a shepherd, when you see your people go through things, mm. you don't know how much that touches you and that affects come you. On. Come on, come on. That's what come that's on. that's what happens with God, when Jesus, when when we go through things, he's the good shepherd. Yeah. He mm -hmm. feels the very things that we go through and he's concerned about it. Don't think that God don't care. The enemy would make you think that God don't care what you're going through. Yes. God, I'm down here struggling. I'm, I'm, I'm down here having this. I'm down here having that. He cares. He's just looking, like you said, at your response. Yep. Yep. Do you believe that even though your brother's dead, that he can still change it and turn it around? Do you Man, believe that even though you lost so your good. job, that even though you lost your job, yes, it hurts that you lost your job. Yes, it hurts that you lost a loved one. Yes, it hurts. It hurts. But can God heal your heart? Can God still make a way out of no way? We got to get to the point as believers to realize that, and this is the thing even about money and losing our jobs. God forbid, I, I've lost jobs before and it doesn't feel good. I know it doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Money is the smallest of blessings of God. Do you know that God can still provide for you even without a job? That God can still make a way Come for on, you even without a job? That God right can now. still give you more than you had before if you have faith? Come on with it. And if you believe him. So what will your response be? I love that because there's a word for that. He shall supply. Mm-hmm. All my need, according to his riches and glory. See, yeah. when you put that word on it, yeah. now you can stand sure. Isn't that right? Yeah. And, and Elder Randolph, I want you to process this next piece. Because it says, and some of them, you know, it says Jesus wept, shortest verse in the Bible. Then said the Jews, behold how he loved him. And some <laughs> of them said, could not this man, here we go. Could not this man which opened up the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died. Children of God, sometimes the devil will bring our mind to try to make that kind of confession. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, God, listen, I went through something in college and I looked up to God and said, with all of these jokers in this locker room that I play with, that I know, I know what, I know what they do. You couldn't let it happen to them. <laughs> I'm going to church. I'm using my scholarship money to sow my tithe. I'm bringing people to church. And I'm the one that got to go through this. Get them. Mm -hmm. Could not you, God, have stopped this from happening? But look at how the Lord, the Bible says, Jesus, therefore, again, that's the second time, right? Mm -hmm. He again groaning in himself, coming to the grave. It was a cave and a stone laid on it. Jesus said, this is what I wanted you to talk about, Elder Randolph. Jesus said, take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, mm -hmm. for he hath been dead four days. The Lord is saying, take away the stone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he stinks. Mm -hmm. Now, I think I preached years ago, stinky stuff or something like that. That the Lord can handle our stinky stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, what might somebody be going through that they feel like stinks? That the Lord is saying, I can turn around. Can you think about that for a second? And I want the people online to jot down some things that might be happening in their life or has happened in their life or they know is happening in someone's life and it stinks right now. But the Lord, I believe this is a prophetic word for somebody. The Lord is saying, take away the stone though. Hmm. You see, the stone is the covering. It said, take away the stone. The stone is keeping Jesus from access. He said, take away the stone. The stone is also keeping Lazarus from coming out. So he said, take away the stone. Talk to me, Elder Randall. What are some things that people go through that stinks and they feel discouraged about, but the Lord can still turn around? A lot of times, Pastor, and, and I, I believe we've all gone through this at some point, there, there can be some situations that come in your life 
that look absolutely hopeless. Mm -hmm. They look. It looks as though there is no fix for it. There's no. There is no cure for. It. That's what. That's where they were at this point. Mm. Uh, if if the people, if you could just imagine all the emotion that was going on, everybody was crying. Even the Lord was crying. Wow. Mm -hmm. the, the, the very one who you call, even he's crying. All this emotion going on and everything looked absolutely hopeless. But the Lord said, take away the stone. If they had never taken away that stone, Lazarus was not going to get up out of that grave. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, that the, those situations in our life that we feel, feel are hopeless, unless you give the Lord access to those situations, those situations will not change. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love I love the way you're framing that, you know, the, the idea that because we know the Lord could say move stone and the stone would roll off. Yeah. Right. But I mean, you have to. we saw we saw it with his own resurrection. Mm -hmm. Come on. He didn't even move his own stone. No, angels came down and just rolled. That stone. <laughs> right. So, so we know he can roll a stone away. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But uh, uh, Reggie, talk to me. Well, you were about to point out something to the people. I, you know, I, what, I, what I see when I, when, I, when I think about that is that God requires you to do something. Mm -hmm. He requires effort in order for him to, to do that thing. Yeah. I, I think about folks that are facing right now depression. You might feel like that stinks. I, I don't like feeling this way. I'm tired of feeling this way. I'm, I don't want to feel this way no more, Lord. But you won't invite the Lord in. Right. to remove that depression for you. You, you. you sit and you you soak in it. You know he's able because you go to church every Sunday. You you dial into the broadcast. You, 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 you've seen him do it for other people before, but for some reason you don't think he can do it for you. That, that, that addiction that you can't seem to get over. You like, I, I thought I was free from it, but it keeps pulling me back in. That, I'm tired of it. it. It stinks. I'm tired of it. God, you must don't want me to get past this. No, 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 no. I, I'm waiting on you to surrender everything to me. When you, when, I mean, think about it. The, 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 he told him to take away the stone because the stone is what sealed it up. Come on. So, 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 so in order for him to, to get in there and get that true deliverance and get all of that out, we got we to gotta move back everything and take it away so that he can come in and do what he do. Stop hiding it. Stop hiding it. I, I was studying earlier this week and, and read, came across scripture says, he that hide of his sin shall not prosper. Wow. Stop hiding what wow. you're going through so that God can prosper it. That's why God is giving you spiritual leadership. I'm not telling you to put all your business out there on Facebook. Later. Go to your pastor, call him up, tell him, hey, I need prayer. There's prayer warriors that you know that are among you. Call them up. I need prayer. I need help getting through this thing. Stop trying to do it by yourself or hiding it. Yeah. And so God can come in and do what he do. Well, let me because tell you, what, let, me, let me tell you, Minister Reggie, me and Antoinette, we've been quite shocked. I just want to say, because we've tried to cover people, you know, and, and we're praying with them and okay, we don't, God's going to turn around. Next thing we know is on Facebook. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm like, let let your covering cover you, man. Yes. Yeah. Man, let, let us take it to God. Facebook can't do nothing about it. That's right. You, you gotta take it to God. And, and and something I'm seeing here. Look at this next shift, man. And Pastor, can I say this before we yes, go? Yeah, go ahead, Elder. Let's move on. Um, i this is what I believe about God's people. God's people believe he can part the Red Sea. <laughs> we believe he can move mountains. We, we believe that he created the heavens and the earth. We believe that he's all powerful. We believe that he can do anything but fail. But the problem we have believing is, will he do it for me? Yes. Mm. Yes. yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. One, one sister right now, I'm just, I haven't been on the thread. Sorry about that, guys, that I haven't been on the thread. One sister says, self-talk and secret thoughts can stink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's just, you know, like the Dead Sea, some people misunderstand the Dead Sea. What makes the Dead Sea the Dead Sea and why it got its name is because it has a flow that goes into it, but it doesn't have an outlet. Right. So what happens is it becomes a sewage. Things mm -hmm. come in, but it doesn't have an outlet. 
And that's what happens to the people of God. Stuff is happening, but they're not outletting it to mm. God. So now it's just, it's just stink. Mm. All right. That's why you got to flow, by the way. Amen. That's why you got to every now and then get a cleansing. I, I went on a cruise, ministers, not to be graphic, but the, the, the man said, your artery, he showed me all these pictures of your arteries and everything that's clogged up, everything that's backed up. I said, man, I feel good. And at the time, I was a little buffed up, too. I'm like, man, I'm fine. What you talking about, man? He was like, listen, the $39.99. I can give you this. It's all natural. You know, everything is all natural, they say. But if it's in a bottle, it couldn't be that natural. But anyway, right. it's all natural. We're going to give this to you. I said, I'll take it. Give me the $39.99 plus, you know, the, you get the second one free. I took that stuff. And guess where I spent the next 24 hours? No. <laughs> 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 No, I'm just saying, I ain't trying to mess up the Bible study. But but what I learned is that I thought that I was clean on the inside. Hezekiah Walker said, won't he make you make clean? clean? But I found out that there was a whole lot of stuff clawed mm. up up in there. And I'm letting you know that we have to allow the Lord to come in and clean that stinky stuff out. I hope I made I it plain with somebody. Sister Flo, we're on the fast, Pastor. Flo. We're on the fast where he's doing it. Come you, on. You, you, you call the fast, and the Lord in the midst of fast, this is where he does his best work. Yes, this, sir. He says some things only come out by prayer. By prayer and fasting. And fasting. So we, we can expect some of the stinky stuff to come out right now in this season. Amen. Oh, my. Ah. Uh, so now... Um, so watch this now. He says, Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha said, he stinks now. Verse 40 says, Jesus said unto her, said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. He's reminding her of what he said. Child of God, I want to remind you of what he said. Now, when we say, those of us who are theologically sound, say what he said, we're talking about this. I want to remind you of what he said. Because mm -hmm. any fly by night can come and say, I got a word for you. I got a word for you. Well, I got a word for you, too, is this right here. Hallelujah. Amen. You stand on that. You stand on that. Not, not, not Prophet Shaquana. You, you stand on this. <laughs> Because I've had some people say some things to me, and I'm like, that ain't even in the book, bro. What you talking about? Amen. So watch this. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, here we go, children of God. Watch this. I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Mm. Wait, heard me what? What What? What? It, what did the father hear? Heard me what? Thou hast heard me. You just now praying. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bounce that to the Facebook land. Why is he saying, I thank God thou hast heard, heard <laughs> me? <laughs> oh, somebody, about, somebody is about to rev up now. Somebody is about to walk into some supernatural favor right now. I thank God that thou hast heard me. Elder Randolph, uh, a part of this line of truth uh, is also found in um, uh, 1 Kings and, and chapter 18, I believe it is, with Elijah. And it's connected up with James 5 as well, when James says that um, Elijah was a man just like us with the same kind of passions. Yes. Yet he prayed that it wouldn't rain for the span of three years, and it stopped. And he prayed again, and it rained. Mm -hmm. However, when you go to the text in 1 Kings, you only see him pray when it's about to rain. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he makes a declaration mm -hmm. to stop the rain. Yes. That's all that's recorded. Yes. He prays for it to rain, mm -hmm. <laughs> which lets me know the Lord is listening to my declaration. Yes. Come on. 
He says, I, 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 I'm thankful that you heard me. Heard me when? When I told the disciples that this is not unto death, he's sleeping. Mm -hmm. You heard me when I said, this is not unto death. He's getting up again. You heard me when I told Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. You heard me. If anybody gonna be put on blast, it's you, God. You heard me already. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So when we talk about thou heard me, oh, look, oh Sister LaFall is in. She said, meaning seeing my life, my actions, and listen to the words of my mouth and my words and my texts and my emails heard what comes forth from my spirit. O M <laughs> drop my. <mic>. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, you you see, when we're walking in the will of God, mm -hmm. when we're talking in the will of God, when we're standing on his promises, those actions speak much louder than words. He says, you've heard me. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. And I knew that thou hearest me when? Always. Always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, mm -hmm. that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Mm -hmm. now, now, this verse 42 is connected up with verse, help me out, Randall, is connected with this being done so that thou mayest believe. Fine, uh, there it is, um, verse 15. So verse 42 is connected to verse 15, children of God. Jot it down in your notes now. Mm -hmm. Because he says, I said it that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Verse 15 says, and I am glad for your sakes that, that I was not there to the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, we'll go unto him. So this whole circumstance was a setup yeah. <laughs> so that the people would believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe all that we're going through is a setup. This is why the essential church has to rise up. Mm -hmm. We have to see, we have to see, oh, woe is us. No, no, no. Forgive me if I've even given that inclination. It ain't about woe is us. It's about, thank you, Lord, because now there's an opportunity for you to get the glory. It's an opportunity for people to know your story, not my story, your story. So let's finish this up, guys. Let's wrap this up. Um, you have to love, uh, uh, Sister Carolyn, you know every, uh, every, every, every week we're praying for your son. Watch this. And when he thus has spoken, he cried with a loud voice. Did y'all catch that? Mm -hmm. Lazarus, come forth. Elder Randolph, what was that again? You probably got it in your column. What's, the, what's his Lazarus name mean? It's in your column. I, I don't know why it's slipping me. Uh, what does his name mean? Let me get it real quick. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Somebody on the screen probably already know it. Uh, see, same, Eleazar. Find that for me. But here we go. And he that was dead, oh my, came forth. The first part of this resurrection was, of course, life. Mm -hmm. But the second part of the resurrection was that he came forth. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Notice how he came forth, though. He came forth bound, hand and foot, with grave clothes on. Mm. And his face was bound about with the napkin. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto them, and I preached this a hundred times, loose him and let him go. Mm. Notice now the participation of everyone involved. Because his word brought him forth. His mm -hmm. word put the life in him. Mm -hmm. But he still was bound. And the people are the ones that had to release him. Mm -hmm. Come on, Reggie. Come on. What's running oh, through Pastor, your mind? You done taught us some things tonight, Pastor. One, we got to invite him in. Mm. And let him speak to our situation, which, which is all this word right here. You, you talked about the, when he speaks. It's right here. There's not anything that we can go through in today's life that's not an answer for in this word. And we begin to pray and believe this word and speak this word. 
then we can come forth and, and, and the things will come forth in our life. The things will begin to be resurrected once again in our life. But then guess what? There's still more work to do. Ah. It, ain't, it ain't just going to stop right there because he spoke it. We got to begin to live in that thing. Yes. Mm. We got to begin to walk in that thing. And we need everybody around us right here, this circle, our church family to help us in it. We play a role and a part in one another's deliverance. We play a role and a part wow. in one another's walk and belief in God, which is why we got to stay connected by any means necessary. So right now we, we're, we're connected through this, this social media, through this Zoom, we're staying connected. It's important that we stay connected if it's by this, because this, we play a role in each other's walk in salvation. Yes. yes. Elder Randolph, talk to me. And that Lazarus is Eleazar. Um, it's, it means God has helped. Oh, God my. has helped. Note mm. that past tense, helped. Oh, my. Isn't that, isn't that something? <laughs> wow. We, we, we know Bible names mean something. <laughs> there, look at what Sister Jackie just said. Sister Jackie said, there are those standing with you that will assist in your deliverance. I don't know when we got real weird. <laughs> I think the media did it to us. Where can't nobody talk to you? Can't nobody help you? you used to come into church acting all stuffy. Someone come next to you at the altar just wanting to help help pray and stand with you. You got an attitude. The altar worker can't have talk to you. What's wrong with you? It's all right to get help. Mm -hmm. We're so ever two or three are touching and agreeing. <laughs> Let somebody agree with you. Amen. If, if you find that your brother is found in a fault and fallen, you who are strong, restore him in a spirit of meekness. When did we get so sensitive about everything? Mm -hmm. It's like you showed up to church, so clearly you got a need. What, what can the Lord do for you today? Oh, why he got it? What, what, what something, something you see, like something wrong? No, mm -hmm. you walked all the way from the back of 200 feet church and came to the front and said you needed prayer. We just trying to help you. Saints of the living God, get rid of that spirit. You need mm -hmm. somebody. If you haven't Amen. figured it out through this pandemic, I heard four more people positive. I just was on a, on a call where they said that the positivity rate is now at, it, it was at 7% uh, positive, now is at 19%. My Lord. People, you don't get it yet? We need each other. Mm -hmm. We need each other. Yes. Mm -hmm. I talked with, with a gentleman who told me, he said, my whole family had COVID. My, both my parents almost died. Wow. He said it was so sobering. It was it was so scary. He said, "Please continue to keep me in prayer, brother Adam. Please keep us in prayer." Mm -hmm. And so he told the people, "Loose him and let him go." We're about to close up this this part of the message, mm -hmm. but let me wrap this up. Let me wrap this up. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did believed on him. Mm. Did y'all catch that? Who believed on him? Based on the text, type it in the screen. Who mm. believed on him? Based on the text, write it in the screen. Write it in the chat. Who believed on him? Based on the text, who believed on him? Because hmm. this is important now. Because remember, I told you it was all about relationships. Martha went out to meet Jesus, right? She went by herself. Mm -hmm. She went and told Mary, hey, he want to talk to you. Mary gets up 
And everyone who was comforting her with a, like a caravan went with her. Mm -hmm. Come on, some of you guys are not responding. I want you to respond. Even if you see the right answer, I want you to respond. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. It says, then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. Why am I stressing for you to type that in? Because of the next verse. Verse 46. But some of them <laughs> went their way. Child of God. Child of God. I'm praying this isn't you. But some of them went their way to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees and the council and said, what do we for this man doeth many miracles? If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and the nation. I got to work with this next week, Reggie. Go on and get your study on now because this is what's happening right now in our contemporary culture. They know they can't leave Jesus alone. Because if they leave Jesus alone and let Jesus do what he do, let the essential church do what he do, guess what's going to happen? Everybody's going to believe. Yes. And all of these pundits and people that y'all think is special, they will be removed out of their place. Yep. Right. So CNN said, you ain't removing me out of my place. Fox said, you ain't moving me out of my place. Sports show said, you ain't moving me out of my place. Netflix said, you ain't moving me out of my place. Amazon said, you ain't moving me out of my place. Mm -hmm. Facebook said, you ain't moving me out of my place. YouTube said, you ain't moving me out of my place. As soon as they feel the pressure of people believing, they will do whatever they can to right. shut it down. Right. Mm. But you are a part of the essential church. And we got to believe that people can still believe. Yes. yes, sir. I got to close on I got to close on that note. Reggie, I'll give you a word. Elder Randolph, you have last word and you'll close us out in prayer. I'm asking everybody to sow your seed. Amen. Text B2EXP to 77977. Amen. I want you to sow into that. Those of you who are willing to stand with us, we want to make sure that all the needs of the house and the community are met. We are in our first fruits. We're sowing a supernatural seed above and beyond our tithe and offering during the month of January, always. We're also trying to start our after school programs and stuff like that at the Champion Center. If you'd like to sow into that, do the drop down link, Champion Center. So you see. Amen. We got some, and Reggie, I'll tell you about it right after this broadcast. Some people, like you said, what's going to happen? People want to rent the space. They're calling me and all of that and community people and all that. So we want to deal with that. But I want you to continue to pray. We're praying three times a day. I prayed this morning. I prayed in the afternoon. And then I'm going to pray tonight. Praying all times a day. I'm going to get with Sister Michelle Peterson because that's our prayer leader. And she has prayer for us on Mondays. So we're going to make sure that everyone has the link. I know some of you guys were hitting me up asking about a link and stuff like that. But make sure that you get the link so you can be on. We wanted that to be a sacred time. Sunday, we'll be having extensive prayer also at 11 o'clock, all right? We will have, as long as the weather is good, we'll have parking lot service at Bethesda at Champion Center, and we'll also have parking lot service at Bethesda Central, and we'll also have live stream at Bethesda Southeast. No, All your needs should be met by the word of God. I'm excited about it this week. Reggie, you have word. Ron, you have word. And then close us out in prayer. <laughs> Just, just just, know that God cares about you. He cares about everything that you're going through. Yes, he knows, but he's waiting on you to invite him in so that he can resurrect it. He can, he can bring things that have been dead back to life. And, and no better time to do it and call upon him and invite him in than during the time that we're on this fast right now. Because there's something special about when we fast that God tends to move. I, I don't know what it is, mm. but it's the sacrifice that we make unto him he believes in coming in because he said in his word, this kind, this kind comes <laughs> out only by prayer and fasting. So maybe what you're going through, maybe it's one of those this kind. <laughs> you 
you, man. And, 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 I, and I pray that <laughs> at the end of the fast or during the fast, that when God brings you out, I pray that your testimony is so strong or so loud, you will have your own followers. Mm. I remember Bishop Johnson would say, if something, if, if you catch on, if something catch on fire, what do you say? If, if you catch on fire, people will come and watch you burn. Mm. So I pray that revival will break out in your home, in your individual life. I pray that you, that revival break out so strong that people will follow you Amen. That, and you will take them straight to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Shout out, shout out to the man who I, who I, I see oftentimes on the corner with a bullhorn. I've seen him carrying, his, hey, he has a van, he breaks out his, his sound system, he preaches on corners, shout out to him. That's what God's people need to do. Oh, um, Randolph. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One more th when you finish that thought, Bishop Swansea passed away this past weekend. Yes. So let's keep the, the Swansea family in prayer. But anyway, continue on in, in prayer. Yes, and that's key. I pray the revival break out in the lives of God's people, individual revival. Since we can't Amen. gather together the way we normally do, let individual revival break out. Father, in Jesus' name, hmm. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We adore you. We magnify your holy name. We give you all the glory that is due you. Lord, you are creator of all flesh and you are the God of the universe. You are our Lord, our savior, our healer, our master, Lord. I, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for the privilege, oh God, to study your word among your people tonight. Yes. And I pray, Lord, that your word will find this place in the hearts of your people, Lord. Lord, build faith. Build spiritual endurance, Father. Lord, cause your people, Lord, to trust in you more than they've ever done so before, Lord. God, I pray that during this fast, Lord, oh God, that you would heal, that you would deliver. Uh, you Lord, Lord, that you would give us new boldness to preach and teach your word. Pray new God. boldness God. to witness. Yeah. New boldness to spend that time in prayer. Lord, I come before you asking, Lord, that revival would break out, Lord. Break mm -hmm. out in our homes. Yeah, break yeah. out, Lord, among families. Break out in our marriages, oh God. Lord, cause revival to break out in such a way, Lord, that would get the attention, Lord, of the unbeliever. Yeah. Cause the unbeliever to be saved. Cause those who laugh at you. Cause those who smirk. Cause them to turn their life over to your hand, oh God. I pray that politicians be saved. Mm. I pray that our mayor, our governors would be saved. Mm. I pray, Lord, that you work that miracle, Lord, and do it, Lord, not for us. Do it that your name would be glorified, Lord. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. Bind the power of the enemy in the lives of your people. And we know the enemy is trying to stop your people. We know the enemy wants to keep your people down and depressed, but the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. You have yes. the power here, Satan. Yeah, in the name of Jesus, Lord, move in a mighty way. Lord, your word says, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Lord, supply the needs of your people according to your riches and glory. Lord, remember, Lord, the Swansea family at the loss, oh God, of Bishop Swansea. I pray that you would comfort their hearts. I pray that you give them direction and guidance, Lord. Show them how that they should go forward in Man, the times, oh God. Lord, I bind any type of confusion, Lord, mm. but let order take place, Lord, at that church. Let order take place among the people, Father. Mm. Send them what they need. Send them who they need. Mm. In the name of Jesus, Lord, comfort the hearts of the Roseman family. Give them new strength, oh God. Mm. Lord, strengthen the uh, Ayala family, oh God. Mm. Yes, God. Lord, bless Mother Ochkal, Lord. Mm. Yes, God. And Lord, those, Lord, who you know, who we know, Lord, have need of your hand touch. Mm. Lord, lift up, oh God, 
Yes. Bring peace of mind and joy as only you can. Lord, mm -hmm. help us above all to walk in the victory that you have already given. In Jesus' name, we ask it and we thank you. Amen. Yes, God. Amen. 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 All right. Well, to God be the glory. Yes, sir. Amen. Come on, everyone. Give him one last praise unto God. Hallelujah. One last Hallelujah. praise. Hallelujah. Tommy, one Hallelujah. last praise. Lord, we Hallelujah. bless you. Hey, listen, I thank God for all of you joining us for this rich word tonight. Pray that you were blessed. Listen, as you get ready to log off, I want to put this in your ear. We're going to be starting a, a great invention. It's like a miracle invention. Y'all ready for this? It's called Sunday School. Ah, I know y'all ain't heard of that before, but hallelujah, we about to start up Sunday <laughs> School. So amen, be listening out for the announcements. We're going to work together because you need that rich work, your whole family. We want you to be blessed, all right? Hope to see you on Sunday for one of our services. And remember, you are a champion through Jesus Christ.